All right, what's up, everybody? It's Jack and Dan. And Pamela. Pamela's here today, too. And here's what we're doing. We are now official affiliates of Hungry Planet. Yes. Woo! Use our code and our website. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love your products. Yes, we do. And uh, so here's the thing. We are doing a new video uh, about lots and lots of Hungry Planet stuff. This is our Italian sausage they have. Now, we've done these videos in the past. Basically, what happened is Hungry Planet said, hey, we really love your videos about us. We're going to send you a bunch of stuff. We're going to send you, uh, you know, things that you could try. A lot of these products are new. If you like them or if you think you'd like them, we will put a link in the description. And, of course, being affiliates, we get a tiny little percentage of that. But you guys, if you put in coupon code, it's coupon code. I forget the coupon code. Coupon code. It's Jack and Dan. Jack and Dan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jack and Dan. Use Jack and Dan on their website. It uh, supports us, helps us a lot. And you will get 15% off. So we're going to try out this Italian sausage. We've never tried it before. This is a soy-based, um, plant-based meat. We're going to check out the nutrition here in a second. Okay, so like all of their products, this is a product that they make, and this is their mission, which is really, really, really good, by cooking with... These kind of vegan meats, you are making a commitment to your personal health and the health of the planet. One of the things that Hungry Planet talks about is animal agriculture is huge as far as greenhouse gas emission goes. And that's one of the main reasons we want to do these kind of things. But of course, also no cholesterol and they have no saturated fat in any of their products. They use sunflower oil, which of course we've talked about before, um, mostly omega-6 fats, but of course unsaturated. So it does have some sodium. Now there are four servings in this. So even if we put this in spaghetti sauce and make whole grain pasta out of it, the pasta doesn't have any, any uh, sorts of uh, sodium. And check this out. You can get very easy for about $1.99 Trader, Trader Guido's. Love it. Instead of Trader Joe's, organic marinara sauce, no salt added. So that means even if you make this whole entire thing for your family with the sauce and the noodles, you're only gonna get, per serving, about 350 milligrams of sodium. You're allowed about how much sodium per day, dude? You I remember? Don't, I don't remember. About 1,500. Yes. So this is not even gonna give you a third of that. And then you gotta do the spaghetti, it's authentic. Yeah, gotta get the whole grain, gotta get the spaghetti. He likes that as noodles. Now, we also have, this is pretty cool. We've got some, this is actually a newer product we talked about recently, Trader Joe's um, mozzarella shreds it's made from ca cashew cheese it's kind of neat and you can put some of that on top or if you want to go hardcore you can do the old nutritional yeast yes. that's what i'm going to do today that's, that's a little experimental i've tried it's pretty good don't put too much on but it's pretty good yeah i like it pamela likes it you like the nutritional yeast don't you it tastes like parmesan cheese kind of like a parmesan cheese but super high in b vitamins and protein yeah look how much protein's in here three grams and just a tiny little tablespoon so that's a good way to get some super protein and b vitamins all right let's cook this up guys okay guys so this is a pound of italian sausage check it out we're going to chop that up cook it in there um just so you can see here, six, 17 grams of protein in one serving, four and a half. That is a lot of awesome plant-based protein, guys. Super, super, super awesome. Um, this actually does already have some yeast in it, so that's probably where they get some of the protein from. But uh, yeah, you can form this into meatballs, you can bake them, you can cook it however you want. Very, very cool. And it is gonna, supposed to, like a lot of these new kind of plant-based grounds it's supposed to kind of brown up and cook so there we go we're going to chop it up and see how it goes jack's working on the old water over here he's going to cook the noodles you're the noodle master right yes okay water's almost boiled jack's kind of mixing this up this is one pound now guys that basically means if we do the math on this that just one pound of this has 75 grams of protein if we split this three ways that's 25 each just from the sausage. Yes. It's amazing how much that smells like sausage too. So good. So you really go with the sauce. Now the nice part too is, is since this sauce doesn't have any sodium in it, it's not going to be overpowered. We're really going to taste this sausage in this. Now there are other sauces you can find that don't have sodium. Of course, we love Trader Joe's. We think they're amazing. And it's only like two bucks a jar. And I'm going to probably add two jars oh, nice. and just kind of mix that right in there. And we'll kind of see how it goes. All right, yeah, we want this to be nice and thick, so we're just doing the two jars. So it looks like about two jars to the one pound of sausage is a really good combination. We're probably going to get 
a good three servings out of this easily. And we are hungry. We've been working Saturday. We've been working all day. You can tell it's quite late. We don't usually eat dinner this late. Just a uh, hard work on Saturday, doing things around here, yard work and everything. So you can tell how this looks really, really good. Really awesome. Again, this is an amazing alternative. Um, you'll notice that, especially when you look at the fat, zero saturated fat, zero cholesterol, a lot of these newer plant-based type of meats that these companies are making to kind of help people to branch over to eating healthier and also to help the planet, like we said, mm -hmm. have a lot of saturated fat in them in order to simulate um, meat. And people like that taste, but unfortunately, it's not very healthy. Once in a while, though, it's good. It's good. It's good. It is okay once in a while. And it's and they still don't have cholesterol in them, but a lot of them still have a lot of palm oil and coconut oil yeah. and a lot of saturated fat. And that's one of the nice parts about Hungry Planet. They do not do that. And they are very, very good. And they have no saturated fat at all. This really helps if you're eating something like this. Really helps to lower LDL cholesterol substantially because you're just having... No saturated fat or cholesterol at all. Jack just loves stirring that. It's nice and thick, huh? Nice and thick. It's going to be good. Uh, while we're finishing up, we're going to show you guys that they do have many of these other kinds of ground meats available. And obviously, they're all non-GMO, guys. A lot of people have questions about soy. It's very simple. It's healthy. Just make sure it's non-GMO. Um, I mean, it's hard to find ones that are not these days because everybody kind of knows to look for that. But... If it doesn't say non-GMO, it is something you probably want to stay away from because most likely it's going to have a lot of glyphosate in it, which is Roundup. Not good. So, non-GMO, very, very good. That means it is not going to have glyphosate because, you know, it's not genetically modified. They have a plant-based ground pork now. We're thinking about a really cool thing. We're going to do some sauerkraut in that with this one. And they have a ground beef, which, you know, again, you could use... For something similar, we yeah. just wanted to try the sausage because it's going to be a little spicier. I use that for like tacos or something. We could, yeah, we could put some taco stuff in there, and they also have a ground chicken. So all of these are to simulate these types of meats. Again, when you are plant based or vegan, you do not necessarily miss meat or yeah. crave meat. Well, personally, me like I just like food in general. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like edible stuff that tastes good. So I don't really like it to like like the fish fillets. I don't want to replicate fish. They just taste good in general. Right. And it's healthy and it tastes good and it's way better for the planet. So even if you're not vegan or even if you're, you know, the reason that we like to do these kind of videos and share these kind of, you know, products is to let people know that are not plant-based, that there are things like this out there available. And of course they have huge multi-packs. You can buy like 12 packs of these at a time and you're going to, you know, be less expensive. And of course it's all free shipping. So you don't even have to go to the grocery store. We're also going to talk a little bit about, I'm going to go over here real quick. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about their packaging, which is something that we hadn't addressed. And we're going to be doing a whole entire video just on their packaging. This is amazing, guys. Their, their entire packaging, of course, because they're very you know interested in helping the planet, comes wrapped and you get it in dry ice, which of course is really cool. We did a few videos on the dry ice. You get it in this this unbelievable pack. Now, this is made, guys, of corn. Isn't that cool? This styrofoam is made of corn. And you can either dissolve it in water, which we can't wait to try. You can compost it, which, of course, we have a compost back there in the yard. So that's going to be something we might try. You can burn it because it's, you know, corn. So it's, it's foam that's made of corn. You can look, find out more about this, greencellfoam.com. And, of course, the plastic itself is the film and that's recyclable we have a two three four all those kind of things over there on our uh can so of course they can obviously be recycled and of course the cardboard you can recycle too and or burn it we we burn it and we use it as a uh, kindling for our fireplaces and stuff like that so we're going to be doing a whole video just on this packaging and how amazing and awesome it is we really wish more and more companies would do something like this it is super awesome so, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to be doing a whole video separately just on this package. We're going to probably try to dissolve the stuff in water and all that. So that'll be separate. That'll be coming up. Wow, oh, guys, look at this. So covered it with the nutritional yeast. This is a huge plate full of food. Look at Pamela's. How's it looking so far? I'm excited to taste it. I have the mozzarella. Put a little bit of that mozzarella. What yes. about you, Jack? Yeah, a little bit yeah, of that I'm mozzarella. Yeah, I'm going to go with the authentic approach and put the mozzarella on there. <laughs> a little bit of the vegan cheese from uh, yeah. Trader Joe's. 
It is amazing, uh, all of these products nowadays, how good they are, how much they taste like animal products. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, very impressive. Uh, I did try a little bit of it before I put this nice display on here, and I was blown away by how good it is. There's still like, what, two or three servings left in there. We're going to end up getting probably six meals out of this. Uh, two meals for our entire, you know, family, six uh, portions, which is really impressive. Um, you know, again, if you're able to have something like this that tastes so much like mm. food that you're used to, but you're reducing your risk of heart disease by cutting all that saturated fat and cholesterol, the leading cause of death on planet Earth. In addition, helping the planet. Inflammation in your body from animal products. Right, tons of inflammation. It, it reduces greenhouse gases, all, all the stuff. You talk about all the stuff before. It's just really good, too. It's good, isn't it? And as the Italians say, perfecto. Can you tell the difference between the the sausage being in there as opposed to just using like a Beyond Beef or something like that? Um, Yeah, it definitely, it almost tastes like more like chorizo, almost. It has that like, but it's also kind of the Italian yeah. uh, sausage, like it has a little bit of spice to it a little bit. I, th I could definitely tell the difference. Yeah. Definitely tastes like sausage to me <laughs> as opposed to... Well, anyway, guys, there you go. Uh, be sure to check out the links. If you want to improve your health, if you want to improve the health of the planet, try it out. You want to grow your muscles. You want to grow your muscles, get lots of protein from awesome stuff like this. George is, uh, George is upset. He wants to try it. He's <laughs> like, it smells so good. Maybe we'll give you a little bit to try, buddy. He's got his little Superman cape on, his Superman bib. George. <laughs> he was distracted by a bird. He thought he was, was going to get some. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's just like, whatever. I mean...